Watching Twitter's calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Kate Nidacina. Early next week, all eyes will be turned to the following macroeconomic events. On Monday, the German Statistics Agency will publish data for July on the country's industrial production. Economists anticipate 0.9% growth compared to June. In June, the industrial production reduced by 1.4% compared to the previous months. The data turned out to be surprising as experts had forecast a 0.4% rise compared to May. The data provided the fact that in the second quarter the European largest economy failed to gain momentum. Nevertheless, in the large number of orders in the manufacturing sector and confidence in the business area indicate an ongoing upward movement. However, it will be rather moderate. On Tuesday, the August report on the trade balance will be revealed in China. Markets expect an increase up to $48.2 billion. In July, the Chinese trade surplus narrowed to $43 billion from $46.5 billion. This is the third decline of the indicator. At the moment, the Chinese trade balance is facing deterioration. Besides, there is a slide in exports to Japan, Russia, as well as uh, Latin America and Africa. In the European Union countries, the exports reduction is not that obvious. A climb was locked in exports to the USA. Nevertheless, the data does not make up for the deterioration in other sectors. China's economic situation is still uncertain due to the recent events on the stock market and the yuan devaluation. On Wednesday, the Bank of Canada will hold the monetary policy meeting. Experts are supposed that the key interest rate will be unchanged at 0.5%. In August, the Bank of Canada decided to cut the benchmark interest rate to a five-year low amid a risk of economic recession in the second quarter. Moreover, the central bank lowered the GDP forecast for the current year to 1% from 1.9%. In the second part of the year, analysts expect a slight decline in real GDP that will lead to spare capacity utilization and additional downward inflationary pressure. Besides, the following economic data will be out early next week. On Monday, the GDP report will be unveiled in Japan. On Tuesday, the industrial production data will see the light of a day in the UK. Report on Germany's trade balance and revised GDP data in the European Union is due for release this day. On Wednesday, the consumer price index data will be disclosed in China. The trade balance data will be on tap in the UK and the building permits report will be out in Canada. It was Traders Calendar on InstaForex TV channel. Have a nice trading with InstaForex.